What do pizza delivery, ambulance calls, soccer practice, going to school, getting the mail, grocery shopping, and going to work have in common? Roads. Without roads, none of the activities or services we rely on is possible. Whether we walk, bike, drive, or take public transportation, we rely on roads to get us from one place to another. Like most things we use every day, we don't give our roads a thought unless there is construction, potholes, traffic jams, or other unexpected surprises. Road construction and repair can mean delays and detours, but once completed, it also means better travel conditions, safety, and convenience. This takes money, lots of money. Where does the money come from? Washington County maintains about 1,300 miles of roads in both urban and rural areas. Funding, building, upgrading, and maintaining these roads is complex, with multiple agencies and programs each contributing so that the county transportation system functions as a whole. Local property taxes support the county's Major Streets Transportation Improvement Program, or MISTIP. Since 1986, MISTIP has funded major transportation improvements countywide. Roadways improved with MISTIP funding are critical to keeping our residents and businesses moving. By 2018, MISTIP will have funded 130 transportation projects, totaling $730 million. This innovative pay-as-you-go program has been praised statewide as a smart, balanced way to fund growing transportation needs. MISTIP cannot be used to maintain roads. County transportation funds also come from the Transportation Development Tax. Developers pay the Transportation Development Tax, or TDT, which is based on the estimated traffic generated by new development. TDT funds transportation projects including road improvements, sidewalks, bike lanes, and transit upgrades such as bus shelters. TDT helps Washington County to keep up with growth in a proactive, timely way. TDT cannot be used for road maintenance or existing safety concerns. State highway funds contribute to the county transportation revenues. State funds are generated by Oregon's 30 cent per gallon gas tax, large truck weight mile fees, and vehicle registration fees. Anyone who buys gas, drives a truck above certain weight limits, or who registers a vehicle in Oregon pays these fees. Washington County uses its share of these state funds primarily to maintain existing roads. These funds are generally very flexible and can be used for many different types of projects. However, these state dollars cannot be used for transit or off-street trails. In addition to the state taxes, those buying gas in Washington County pay an additional one cent per gallon county tax. Funds from this tax are split 60% goes to cities, 40% goes to the county. Then there's the Urban Road Maintenance District funds. Property owners within the county's Urban Road Maintenance District, often referred to as ERMD, pay about 25 cents per $1,000 of assessed valuation for preventative road maintenance services on about 430 neighborhood streets within the district. ERMD can also fund minor safety improvements on roads within the district. Ermed funds cannot be used for building new roads or major improvements to existing roads. Grant funds also play a role in the county's financial picture. Washington County competes for limited grant funds for major projects. These funds are federal, state, and regional. There are a lot of strings attached to grant funding, which limits the types of projects that can be funded. So here's how Washington County's transportation funding is divided. The problem is, Funding is not keeping pace with increasing road maintenance and improvement expenses. The county is dependent upon all these funding sources. When transportation funding is unstable and inconsistent, the county's transportation infrastructure can also become unstable and inconsistent. If funding for road maintenance decreases, for example, then the quality of our road maintenance also decreases. A hole in the funding structure can mean a pothole in a roadway. So what's down the road? We can't predict the future. Here's what we do know. According to the Oregon Department of Transportation, the price of road and bridge construction has more than doubled since 1993 when the federal gas tax was last increased. At the same time, the Federal Highway Trust Fund has run out of money. The Fixing America's Surface Transportation Act, or FAST Act, 
provides a five-year solution, but the long-term future for federal transportation funding remains uncertain. In addition, gas tax revenue is also predicted to decrease. Hybrid and electric cars are becoming increasingly popular, which means the revenue generated by the gas tax will not keep pace with growing road maintenance needs. In 2014, Washington County asked voters to approve an annual $30 vehicle registration fee that would have funded our growing road maintenance needs. That measure was defeated 54 to 46 percent. Given these challenges, Washington County is struggling to meet its commitment to improve and maintain its roads and is exploring alternative funding sources. So the next time you order a pizza, go shopping, or take a ride on your bicycle, think about what makes all of that possible. Roads. They're what we depend on.